Last week, I asked you guys to send me all of your best, worst suggestions for how I can market my new book, Who Am I and Why Do I Matter, which comes out in March this year. And boy, did you guys have some great bad ideas. Who Am I and Why Do I Matterhorn Tour? Climb the Matterhorn while hearing about the book. A mountain tour and a book tour all in one. Skydive while reading the introduction of your book. The way that would actually go down is I would leap out with the book, scream and scream, lose the book in the sky. Guy and that'd be it. Who am I and why do I match books? I mean, this is definitely getting into the level of cheap that we're aiming for here. However, I'm not sure how many parents are going to be stoked on the idea of us sending out matches to their kids. On the plus side, if I ever get cancelled, you won't have to look far to find something to burn my book with, but we're, we're really kind of hoping against that scenario. A limited edition EP album. Wait, as in a collection of songs by like real artists related to the book? Or did you mean a limited edition EP of music by me because that is outside my skill set. I mean I could absolutely attempt that. You just wouldn't want to hear it. Remember, the aim here is to try and get people more interested in picking up my book, not to like cause a boycott before the book is even out. Personalized M&Ms, that is actually more relevant than you know. Someone suggested that I set up a TikTok account and look, I would love to, but unfortunately the girls at my school have clearly established that I am too young for Facebook and too old for TikTok. And I am just happy to roll with that. Those car air fresheners that hang from rear view mirrors promotional air fresheners. It's cheap, it's ridiculous, it smells good. Every car that has one becomes an instant ad for my book. This could be the one. Are they cheap though? Customize your car air freshener in just minutes. It's easy. Let your imagination fly. Just imagine your personalized design or corporate logo hanging for all to see from rear view mirrors all around the world. Imagine, just imagine. Maybe we don't have to imagine. Design the beautiful personalized air fresheners you have always dreamed of. Yes, design now. Choose your fragrance. Baby powder, black raspberry vanilla, cherry, no fragrance, no fragrance? Isn't that just a piece of cardboard then? Paris Hilton replica. What does that mean? I assume she has a fragrance. I think we're gonna go with cherry, something classic. Okay, so they're not as cheap as I had hoped, but they're not prohibitively expensive. Let's just get 25 for starters, and then we'll see if they're any good. Preview, yes, check that out. I mean, I know it's just the cover, but like imagine it smells like cherry. And on the back, <laughs> it says, this air freshener is also available in a book form. For details, visit chrismorphy.com slash tbqmatter. This is it. I have solved book marketing. So unfortunately it says estimated ship date is not until the 25th of January. But you know what? You can't rush these things. When you're revolutionizing the publishing industry, you gotta take it step by step. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, two other things. Number one, my publishers have actually been such good sports about all of this. They actually like reposted my video on their social media channels and stuff, which is weird, right? Because now in a way, my attempts to figure out how to market the book have become part of the marketing of the book. It's very meta, you guys. We really are doing something different here. The other thing is, remember I floated the idea of NFTs. Now, upon reflection, and NFTs are weird and confusing, probably expensive, legal issues involved. So NFTs, too hard. But what about FTs? Just regular old fungible tokens. I'll tell you more next week.